So now we're ready to add the interactivity to the quiz. So far, we've just been doing HTML. We've set up a nice page, we've added some content, and we added the form elements, but nothing happens when the form is submitted. So we need to work on the JavaScript that is going to capture the value from when the user submits the form for each question and then passes that information into a score and then passes that score into something in the document so that we can reply back with the answer to the user. So I've got some script over here and I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna put it in the document toward the end of the document after the um, div closes that has the elements in it. So this is an opening and closing script tag. And the first thing we need to do is use get element by ID and reference the form. You'll remember that we gave the form ID a form one, and we can name that anything we wanted. So it says whenever this form is submitted, run this function. Now this is just a generic function that exists right here, and it's going to run anytime the form is submitted. So for each question, I've created a variable. So for the question about variable, I have a variable. I know that's a little confusing. And then I'm going to say get elements by name. And that's why we had to use this because we're using names up here to identify each one of our variables, each one of our um, questions rather. So get element elements by name for variable. It's going to capture the score of what is stored in variable, either zero or 25, depending on what the user answered. So this goes through and it checks to see if it's checked. So it runs a loop to go through each one of the elements in the length of the variable var. And that's the things that are um, there, the four variables that we have. It goes through and if it's checked, then it passes that score as a value, converts it to an integer, so I know it's a little bit confusing, and stores that in vScore for variable. So this answer here is gonna either be zero or 25, depending on if the user got the answer correct. And then we do the same thing for each question. We have a for loop that goes through and sees if the um, item is checked, and if the item is checked, then it passes that value as an integer into a variable that we'll be able to use down here. Do it for all four, and then we're gonna create the result. So V score plus S score plus C score plus I score is adding up the results of all four of these. If the person got 25, if they got them all right, then the answer is gonna be 100. If they got three right, it would be 75 because one of these would be zero. And then what we want to do is then pass this into the HTML so that the result will display on the page. And so um, the get element by ID grades inner HTML is going to suddenly become the result. And what we have here is your grade is with a blank, waiting for that answer to replace that blank. So let's see if we did this correctly. We'll save this. We'll come back over here and refresh the page. And then let's take this quiz. Let's take it correctly. What is the best description of a variable? Uh, it allows you to store information which is the best description of the substring method, um, identifies a portion of a string, what is the best description of concatenation, a method to join strings, and which is the best description of an if statement allows you to uh, make a decision based on a condition. So hopefully we got this right and we got 100 on the quiz. And we did, so it works. It, in that you know, second of submitting the form, it actually calculated that we got 25 points for each one. If we were to change this, let's say we got one of them incorrect and resubmitted, we should see a different score here, and we do. So now we'll go on to do some additional functionality that we want to add to the quiz. We wanna have some sort of a statement here that evaluates how the student did on the quiz.